you obviously had a great first half. Do you feel like the team can turn it around? It seemed like there were some signs at the end. Yeah, I mean, we we played really good ball this past week, going four and two against uh, two high quality teams, and I think that'll give us a really nice springboard uh, going into the second half, especially uh, getting some getting some much needed rest for us, and we're going to have a. I think we played three more weeks on the road than we did at home, so uh, we're going to have a lot less travel in the second half, and uh, it's going to be nice playing more games in front of uh, uh, the uh, the City Field faithful. Yeah. Do you feel like you're kind of an ambassador for the Home Run Derby now, having done it so many times? I mean, it's it's so fun. It's a it's a great event, and uh, it's a great display of talent that the game has to offer. So, um, I mean, it's it's fun doing it, and I, I really enjoy it. So, um, I, I guess I guess so. Yeah, I'm a big I'm a bit. I wouldn't say ambassador. I would say huge advocate. Okay. So, when other players are thinking about doing it, do they ask you? Um, like just to get some like tips. Every I wouldn't say tips, but it's more so like, hey, how do you feel afterwards? But uh, usually there's a lot of uh, a lot of adrenaline, a lot of excitement into it, so you really don't feel it. Um, be, and then also you really don't have to play a full game the next day. Typically, um, All Star game you get one or two at bats, and then right. and then that's it. So it's not like you have to be fully prepped for nine innings. You just got to be ready for. Maybe two or three or four innings on defense and and uh, and at batter too. How do you feel about going against Julio after what he did last year? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, he knocked me out. Um, knocked me out. I mean, he had an absolutely insane round of BP. I mean, I had a decent round. Um, I think I hit somewhere in the mid to low twenties, and but. Again, I thought I had a good round, but he just had a flat out better round. I mean, he he was unconscious last year, so uh, it's going to be fun. I mean, I know he's going to be amped up, ready to go. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I will be too. It's going to be a, it's going to be a fun uh, it's going to be a fun experience for sure. He missed a few games right out of the break with a sore wrist, probably from that. Is that a concern that you have at all? <laughs> no, I, I never really have concern with it at all. Um, and yeah, I just uh, yeah, I, I've, I've done it. And for me, I, I usually take a lot of swings during my day, so it's just a, uh, another day, another day of BP, just with a ton of people watching and, and being televised nationwide and worldwide. That's it. And the notion that it might mess up your swing, you obviously no, I, I I don't buy it for one bit. I mean, for me, it's it's helped me uh, perform in the second half. Um, I mean, every every year I've done it, I've had a better second half than I than I have a first half. So um, yeah, I, I'm really really stoked that I get to do it again and. I think for me, because the derby, it, it forces you to have a super uh, efficient, tight, consistent swing. And I feel like that's just, uh, for me, it's, I, I enjoy doing it because uh, I think for me it ingrains good habits and uh, being super efficient, tight, rotating well and efficiently uh, to the baseball, that's what I need to perform in the game. So uh, it's the same same principle performing in the derby. Tony's going to be up this winter. He's going to make a lot of money no matter where he goes. If you had 30 seconds with him and have some fun with us. What would you say about why you should consider um, I Honestly, it's a, it's a great city to live in. I mean, the city field's a, a really fun place to play. And um, and it's, I mean, yeah, it's a great, New York's a great city. We have an excellent fan base, and it's uh, it's just an incredible place to play. It's the number one thing.